that people sat up as much sometimes for when we spoke about the federal budget. I've got to say when uh, Chris spoke before this federal budget and added his voice again to saying the top expenditure that uh, a government would uh, give priority to um, in this federal bu- budget was an increase in unemployment payment. Um, you know, what, what more do our political leaders need in order to listen both to the experts, to the business community, the community sector, to unions, and most importantly, to the voices of people like Craig? Yes, and we'll hear from Chris Richardson in a moment and uh, talk around the politics of this, I think, as well as the economics. Dr Cassandra Goldie is the CEO of the Australian Council for Social Service. And your calls are coming in. We've got Julie and Daisy Hill. Uh, Julie, are you living on New Start? I'm about to. I've just finished a six-month contract, which is not going to be renewed or isn't being renewed. And so I haven't actually registered, but I'm going to be. I was on New Start before this, before this six-month contract started for three years and eight, eight months and seven days. Three years, eight months and seven days. Yes. How did you get through those times? Um, you, you eat an awful lot of pasta, um, which is OK. I like pasta. Um, you buy a lot of stuff that's um, out of date, almost out of date and uh, therefore reduced in price from the supermarket. For example, milk gets um, half-priced and so you buy that and then put it in the freezer. Same with bread um, and, and that sort of stuff. I put it in the freezer and, and use that. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of ways you can be economical about it. Now, I consider myself one of the lucky ones because I actually own my own home, so I don't have to have rental or... Um, yes, the housing um, costs. Yes, but... Um, but um, but you, you have know, to pay was, rates and yes. uh, all the upkeep of a house. That's right, uh, but I don't have to pay rent or, or house payments, so I'm, I, I think I'm luckier than a lot of other people. Um, but, but yes, you've still got to find all the other stuff. I have, in in those three years, I was accessing my uh, super because when I was uh, when I was walked out of work when. Uh, we used to call it being Newmanised when, because uh, I worked for a government department. Right. And so you were part of those public service cuts under Campbell Newman. Yes, and uh, and we, um, as I said, we used to call it being Newmanised, um, and the, the bullying got so bad that I actually started having seizures, and so I um, was uh, totally and permanently disabilitated um, on on the advice of a. A supervisor who who disliked me very much. Julie, congratulations for getting the six month contract. That, uh, but it's unfortunately not being renewed, though. No. Well, you see, I, the the part of that was dangling the ten thousand dollar bonus you get. They get for uh, employing someone over fifty, and that only lasts for six months. But the idea of it is that you're supposed to then continue your employment. Um, <clears throat> but it didn't, uh, for various reasons. You okay. can, however, you can't get that again until you've been unemployed uh, for six months. So I'm, I'm now applying for jobs um, without having that extra extra bit to dangle in, 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 in potential employers' faces. Well, best of luck with it, Julie. That's a hard road, Cassandra Goldie, uh, when you're taken on for just six months and, mm. and the bonus runs out. Look, it is. And, um, I mean, Julie um, didn't talk so much just then about um, the other part of the experience of being unemployed, but, of course, she will be needing to meet a whole lot of very strict, very tough, harsh indeed, um, job search obligations. I mean, Australia has one of the toughest uh, conditions attached to getting um, new start. Um, we top it with the UK in terms of where we've got to. You know, six months of work for the doll um, and uh, um, applying for a job a day. Yeah. Um, you so think about that. Okay, just apply for a job, you, you know, to do a decent job application every single day in a labour market, which often um, I didn't quite get a sense of what, you know, Julie's job you know, focus would be, but labour markets are tough, particularly when you're trying to break back in. 
um, it can be really demoralising for people. I mean, it's important for people in that situation to absolutely not give up hope. And that's why we persistently say to the politicians that talk about this issue, you must stop demonising people who are struggling to get employment. It isn't appropriate to say, oh, it's, there's plenty of work out there. You've just got to try hard enough. I mean, you can hear it in Julie's voice how hard she would be trying and how, um, you know, desperate you can become. And she highlighted her situation is very different because she doesn't have to cover rent. Now, look, if you are renting, if you have to cover your housing costs, that basically sucks up most of your Social Security um, payment. Well, I don't know how and you do angle, it with two hundred and sixty nine dollars exactly, a week. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, if if you if you are pro- in the private rental market, you will probably be eligible for Commonwealth rent assistance, but the maximum rate of that is only sixty seven dollars per week. That also hasn't been increased in real terms for over two decades, uh, despite what's been going on in the you know costs of uh, renting. And so um, this is a really chronic situation and Anglicare Australia does an annual snapshot of affordability for rental properties. Um, And in the last time it did it earlier this year, it found that there were just three properties that would be considered affordable for people if you were living on Newstart. This is Focus on ABC Radio Brisbane. Dr Cassandra Goldie, who is the CEO of the Australian Council for Social Service, is with us. And we're talking about the rate of New Start, which hasn't really in real terms gone up since the year 2000. The pension's gone up 50% in that time. Wages have gone up 20%. New Start stayed, has stayed where it was in the year 2000.